Hi. Now this question then we've got to work out the area R, that's this green area, between x is minus 1 and x equals 4. So how do we do this? Well, it's basically an integration problem. When you do questions like this, the area is always equal to the integral from the lower limit, that's minus 1 in this case, to the upper limit 4 of your equation here, y, with respect to x. So what we need to do is to fill in what y is, and we can see that it is 1 plus x multiplied by 4 minus x with respect to x. Now to integrate this, we need to expand it first of all. And if we expand it, we're going to get once 4 is 4, and then we have minus x and then 4x, so that's going to be 3x, and then x times minus x is minus x squared. Remember you've got several terms here, so put that in brackets, and then don't forget the dx on the end. Now each term is ready to be integrated. All we need to do is, just for the constant, just add an x on the end, so we get 4x, and then for each of these two terms, we just add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So we're going to get plus 3x, add 1 to the power, so that's 2, divide by the new power, 2. When we come to this term, add 1 to the power, that's x to the power 3, divide by the new power. Don't forget to enclose this in square brackets and the limits go on the end here, going from minus 1 to 4. All that's left to do now is just to substitute 4 in for x, first of all. So if you do that, you're going to get, and I'm just going to put a couple of square brackets up here as we go through. We'll have 4 times 4, and then plus 3 times 4 squared, over 2, minus 4 cubed, all over 3, so that's that, minus what we get when we substitute the minus 1 in for x, which will be 4 times minus 1, plus 3 times minus 1 squared over 2, and then minus, minus 1, all cubed over 3, and that will be in a square bracket. So all you need to do now is just work this out in the calculator. If you do this first bracket, Remember to work in an exact form, okay, because they want the exact answer. So it's no good having your calculator really working in decimals. If you've got one that works in exact fractions, just stick to that. Okay, so you get 56 over 3 for the first one, 56 thirds. And for the next bracket, we've got this one here, comes to minus 13 over 6. So when you work that out, what you should find you get is exactly 125 over 6. Alright, so you might like to actually finish that off with writing square units because, or unit square, because it is an area. Okay, well, that brings us now to the end of this question.